Football isn't just about scoring goals. For some players, their main aim on the pitch is to stop them being scored. Here are the greatest defenders in football history. Franz Beckenbauer Calling Franz Beckenbauer a defender doesn't really do him justice. He was so much more than that. If you thought ball-playing centre-backs were a modern invention, take a look at some clips of the Kaiser in action. Beckenbauer popularised the sweeper role. He broke up play behind his fellow defenders and then started his team's attacks with world-class dribbling and passing. A two-time Ballon d'Or winner, the German was the first ever defender to claim the prize. He also won three European Cups with Bayern Munich and the World Cup and the Euros with West Germany. Beckenbauer's widely regarded as the greatest defender of all time. He's a legend of the game and one of the best all-round footballers the game has ever seen. Franco Baresi Italy is the home of defending, and Franco Baresi is Italy's defensive king. He won everything there was to win with AC Milan and the national team, including three European Cups and the World Cup. Baresi was only 5 foot 9, but that didn't really matter. He was so clever that he always seemed to be two steps ahead of opposition strikers. Baresi was a natural leader who inspired the players around him. And if all that wasn't enough, he was also a great passer of the ball. Franco Baresi truly was the complete defender. Paolo Maldini Paolo Maldini is often considered the best left-back ever. That alone shows you how good he was. But did you know that the best left-back ever was actually naturally right-footed? Seriously, Maldini started out as a right-back, but he was moved to the left because Mauro Tassotti played in that position for AC Milan. It's incredible that Maldini went on to become world-class on the opposite side of the pitch. His left foot became so good that you barely noticed it wasn't his strongest. Maldini was an expert reader of the game who had incredible longevity. He played more than a thousand games for Milan and Italy, starting out in 1984 and eventually retiring in 2009. Cafu now, talking of longevity, Cafu played in four World Cups and three World Cup finals. The legendary right-back was famous for his dynamic running and limitless energy. At times, it seemed like Cafu had a third lung. He wasn't the first attacking right-back, but he was probably the best ever to play that role. Cafu surged up and down the flank for 90 minutes, putting in crosses at one end and making tackles at the other. As well as winning two World Cups, he also lifted the Champions League with AC Milan and back-to-back -back Copa Libertadores with Sao Paulo. Bobby Moore Bobby Moore, he defended like a lord. He was a gentleman and an incredible footballer. That's what Pele had to say about England's 1966 World Cup winning captain. Moore was an elegant centre-back who wouldn't look out of place in the modern game. He timed his tackles to perfection, and unlike many centre-backs of his time, he was ultra-composed with the ball at his feet. Moore spent the vast majority of his career with West Ham. It's just a shame he never played in the European Cup, but he proved at various World Cups that he was one of the best defenders of his time. Roberto Carlos Now, when it comes to the left-back position, there are two eras, before Roberto Carlos and after Roberto Carlos. With his non-stop attacking, powerful running and useful knack for scoring amazing goals, the Brazilian revolutionised his position. It almost feels wrong to call him a defender. Roberto Carlos won three Champions Leagues at Real Madrid, as well as the 2002 World Cup with Brazil. He also scored one of the most famous free kicks of all time against France. Roberto Carlos, what have you done to the laws of physics? Alessandro Nesta even when he was playing against world-class strikers, Alessandro Nesta barely broke a sweat. The Italian centre-back was always so composed on the pitch. He looked elegant in everything he did, whether it was playing a long diagonal pass or winning possession with a well-timed slide tackle. Nesta had everything he'd want in a defender. He was quicker than most players in his position and read the game well. Those two qualities made it extremely difficult for opponents to get the better of him. During a brilliant career, Nesta won the World Cup, two Champions Leagues, and was nominated for the Ballon d'Or three times. Sergio Ramos Cometh the hour, cometh Sergio Ramos. The Spaniard always rises to the occasion for Real Madrid and Spain. If you're going into battle, you'd want Ramos on your side. Ramos joined Madrid in 2005 and has been a vital player for the club ever since. 
He's won four Champions Leagues with Los Blancos, as well as the World Cup and two Euros with Spain. Now, Ramos isn't everyone's cup of tea. His antics rub many people up the wrong way. But even if you don't like Ramos, you have to respect him. Aggressive, clever and a regular goal scorer despite his position. He's one of the best defenders ever. Philip Lamb Pep Guardiola's coached numerous world-class players. Of all of those, he picked Lamb as the most intelligent he's ever come across. Lamb was such a good all-round footballer that Guardiola converted him into a midfielder in his 30s. The German was one of those players who could do a job anywhere on the pitch. Lamb spent most of his career at fullback. He played on the left or the right side, depending on where he was needed. Lamb was technically gifted and was equally good at defending and attacking. He won the Champions League with Bayern and the World Cup with Germany during an almost flawless 16-year career. Carlos Poyol In some ways, Carlos Poyol didn't seem to fit in with Pep Guardiola's tic-tac merchants at Barcelona. He definitely didn't have the technique of Xavi, Iniesta or Messi. Poyol was a vital part of that team though. Strong, brave and a natural leader. He wore his heart on his sleeve and inspired his teammates week after week. Poyol was one of those defenders who loved to do the dirty work. He was strong, tenacious and a beast in the air. The Barcelona legend won three Champions Leagues with the club he loved, plus the World Cup and two Euros with Spain. Not bad for a player who Barca almost sold to Malaga in 1998. OK, some honourable mentions. Dani Alves Three players are particularly unlucky to miss out, and Dani Alves is one of them. He was a playmaker at right-back who had a superb relationship with Lionel Messi at Barcelona. The Brazilian's also the most decorated player in football history. He's won 41 major trophies for club and country. Not bad. Daniel Passarella Many midfielders would be proud to have Daniel Passarella's goal-scoring record. In 451 league games, the Argentines scored 134 goals. At 5'8", Passarella was a small centre-back, but what the World Cup winning captain lacked in height, he more than made up for in heart. Elias Figueroa Elias Figueroa never played in Europe, but he's one of the best defenders to ever come out of South America. The Chilean was intelligent, physically commanding and technically excellent. He could have played for any club in the world in the 1970s. Who's your favourite defender of all time? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe for more great football videos.